Shireshikawe, the project manager for the Day by Day Foundation. We have arrived at Tauma Primary School, where the Day by Day Foundation intends to implement one of the gardening projects. I'm now met with uh, Mr. Elias Tole, one of the members of the staff at Tauma Primary School, and Mr. Chua, the production unit coordinator. Mr. Chua, who Tell us more about the project that we intend to implement. Mr. Chua, over to you. Thank you, sir. As the manager of the project, as he has already said, uh, the project would be of the great benefit for the school, even the community at large. We are lacking a lot of uh, the nutrients from the vegetable from which we are supposed to get from the vegetables because we don't have vegetable gardens around here we cover a lot of we cover long distances to acquire some vegetables therefore we hope to benefit as we shall be getting vegetables close to the doors therefore even at school we have feeding programs feeding program where we don't have vegetable on the diet we hope to benefit from the same garden as we shall be feeding the vegetables, the, the which, as we shall be feeding pupils, the vegetables which shall be grown on the same, we, using the same project. Even the community shall stop covering long distances to acquire vegetables as they shall have vegetables near their doors. Mr. Yeah. Tole, kindly elaborate more on uh, what uh, Mr. Chu has just yeah, explained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, uh, as he has uh, said, just echoing what he uh, he's already explained, uh, this school uh, has got a population of 242 children and it is surrounded by five villages, as per se. Yes. And uh, out of the 242 children, we have uh, 122 girls and 120 boys. So when you look at this project, uh, Gwembe generally is, is a dry place and uh, having uh, vegetables and most people waiting for the rain season, it is very difficult. But when you, you have an irrigation of some type, you find that it will be very easy for a uh, vegetable growing. And the uh, vegetables uh, grow very well during dry season. And uh, in rain season, there are a lot of uh, yeah, diseases, more especially tomatoes, are prone to diseases during rain season. But when you grow them during dry season, and the only way is to have irrigation. And irrigation can only be done through this type of a project, which you will really appreciate from Day by Day Foundation. It will really go a long, long way. And uh, apart from the feeding program we have, it also reduces the uh, diseases from, from children. Because the, the vegetables which will be grown here will be a protective type of, of food whereby you have uh, health children and the, the health children are the children who can perform better at school and the, you know a, a stomach which is the full of food is also uh, translated to the to the brain full of, of knowledge uh, we really appreciate uh, 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 this project we hope that you put the hands together the community the school all the teachers not leaving the project in the hands of the uh, project uh, PU coordinator, that is production unit coordinator. But everyone, if we join hands together, I think we'll, the project will go a long, long way. And we really thank you, the Day by Day Foundation for, for what they are planning to do for us. We will not disappoint. Okay, Mr. Tolle, uh, apart from uh, the vegetable, the feeding uh, the children, I'm sure the surplus of the vegetables will be uh, sold. Definitely. How do you intend to use the proceeds that you realize from the from the sale of the vegetables? Yeah, the, the projects, most of the time, we, we really like to have sustainable projects. Well, suppose if donor funding ends, what do we do? So we would like to have a sustainable project whereby the money which we raise from the sales of the vegetables is going to sustain the project by the way of buying more seeds, buying fertilizers, uh, 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 maintaining the, 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 the water system, as well as doing other projects which need money. So this project is supposed to sustain itself. Because we know for sure that at some point donor funding will end. We will not rely on day-by-day -day foundation so that other people can learn from us, so that 
this project can be done, this project can be sustainable. Mr. Tole and Mr. Chu, it's been a pleasure chatting with you. We have seen the piece of land where you intend to, to, to grow the vegetables. Very soon we will get back to you and see how best we can uh, coordinate and implement and, and have this project implemented. We really appreciate it's it. been Thanks a pleasure so much. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Talking to you guys. Yeah, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Okay. And so we deliver the message. Okay.